out playing football again this pre-season. Was it nice to be back? Yeah, it was very good. Um, it was potentially a tough game, but we approached it exactly the way you should approach games like this and, and really killed the game in the first half when, when we played with, uh, with high tempo and, and some good stuff uh, at times. So, um, yeah, that was good. Good mixture of kind of youth and, and first team ability. Is it, is it quite nice to play alongside the youth players? Obviously, you were there once upon a time, you know, getting that, that advice, and now it's you giving it. Yeah, yeah obviously, as you, as you move, move along through your own career, um, Passing, passing a little bit of advice on to, to the next generation becomes more and more important and uh, obviously for me I'm, I'm uh, near the end of my career and I'd like to think I have a few things to, to teach them so uh, so that was nice and, and we have some good young players coming through that, that was evident for everyone to see. Them. We're back at Fulham as well this weekend I know you brought you to the Premier League and you spent a lot of time there is that is it something you're looking forward to? Yeah very much so you know it's, uh, it's always going to be a special place for me. Um, I've, uh, I've had some good times there, but uh, you know now, now I'm with Palace and, and uh, I'm a professional player. Uh, we want to win the game, obviously, but uh, I'm sure I'll see some old friends. Yeah, it's been some good progression over for Palace over the years. You know, tenth and eleventh the last two seasons. How far can they go next season? Uh, hard to say. You know, the Premier League is really tough, um, and uh, for, for me, I'm very, very modest. Uh, and, and my my goal is always to try and stay in the league because I know uh, I know how hard it is. Uh, if we have a really good season, who knows? Um, but we, we need to keep our feet on the ground and keep working hard and, uh, and see where that brings us. Cool, you're brought in by Tony Pulis, then Neil Warnock had you, and now, and now Alan Pardew. What sort of job has he done for you as a player? You know, obviously, <laughs> we spoke about their kind of, you know, potentially in the, in the later years of your career, but what sort of manager is he for you? Do, you? do you think he's been a good manager for you? Yeah, I think he's been first class. He's one of the best I've had. Um, um, and you know, uh, especially at my age, when when you have a bit of um, experience, you you need to have a manager that you see as a, as a, someone who knows more about football than you. And uh, that hasn't always been the case. But this this uh, manager, Pardew, he, he he's first class. He's uh, he's got a lot of experience. Uh, good man management. Good tactician. Uh, yeah, I think it's there for everyone to see what a good job he's done uh, the last six months. And lastly, the, the club brought in Johan Kabay, obviously a, a real marquee signing, about £12.8 million pounds as suggested. How has he come in and settled in? Obviously he wasn't here tonight, but I assume he'll be featuring at the weekend. What sort of, how's he come in and done? Uh, well, he, he comes with a reputation. Obviously, I've, I've played against him many times when he was at Newcastle, and, and I know he's a top player. Um, luckily, he's a good lad as well, because that's uh, that's equally important, I think, and, uh, especially at a club like Palace. So, uh, so far, he's been he's been really good in training, uh, slotted in well amongst the boys, and uh, and we're delighted to have a player of his his quality with us.